Hi, I'm Lori George, and this is Art Journal Olive. And today for Creative Care Week, we are going to be doing a little project that takes into account some positive affirmations, some colors that can be soothing and help our mental health, and also just some creativity that can help benefit us in many ways. So what we're going to do first is we are going to create a background. And so what I want to do is cover up any of the background, like any of the white, and there's a lot of different ways you can do that. I have some calligraphs, I have some watercolor, and I also have some acrylic paint. And so I'll be showing you a few different ways that you can create a background. First, we'll start with just a little bit of watercolor. This is the Archer Nala's watercolor notepad. Okay, here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my watercolors. I'm gonna just pick a color. Okay, let's do, I'm gonna, I think for this project today, I'm gonna be doing some greens and blues. Greens and blues can have soothing and calming effects. And so that's kind of the mood that I want to portray here, the vibe that I wanna, that I wanna use. So I'm going to, I think I'm gonna go with this green here. Okay, you can use any watercolor you have. Really, you can use any um, materials that you have that you wanna use. You could do collage, anything. I just wanna break up the, the white in the background here. And in fact, I think I'm gonna add this other green too, just for fun. Really not worried too much about brush strokes showing or anything like that. Okay, I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna set that aside to dry. While that's drying, let's go ahead and take our watercolor um, notebook here. This is the Moonstruck. I love this, it's like a sketchbook. And so, I'm gonna go ahead and change to some acrylic here. So for acrylic, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna have a, just a little palette here, something to put my paint on, and just a few different brushes. Really, I only need a couple, if not just one even. Maybe I'll just stick with this and maybe bring over the same brush we used for the watercolor. And then for paint, I'm just gonna do, <clears throat> I'm just gonna put a little bit of green on my palette. Don't need a lot, a little bit of blue and some white. This has been used quite a bit, so there we go. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of pick, pick, I'm gonna really use this big brush actually. <clears throat> I'm just gonna kind of pick up some paint and just start putting on here. I'm gonna mix that blue. I'm just gonna mix right on the page here, the blue and the green. And then for fun, I'll just kind of start blending in some white. Be sure to add water as needed. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside to let that dry. Okay. So another way that you can cover your page is with calligraphs. So here I've selected some blue and green hues here that I'm gonna go ahead and use. And I think what I'll do is, um, I think what I'll do is kind of a grid pattern. So other ones are a little more abstract, but for these, I think I'm just gonna kind of, and again, I'm not gonna worry like too much. But I think I'm just gonna kind of make some boxes here and then fill them in. Okay, what do I want this last color to be? Maybe this kind of neutral blue gray. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and just set this aside and we'll start the next part. So the next step, we're going to fill our pages with some positive affirmations, positive quotes, um, goals, words that have a lot of meaning to us. And so I'll give you a couple examples here. So with the page that I did in my notebook with my calligraphs as the background, I just used some colored pencils and some pens and I just kind of wrote down some things that I was thinking of, like I'm creative, um, smile more, walk and enjoy fresh air, rest, um, more time in nature, 
I can be generous with my time and talents, things like that. I can be optimistic. So whatever it is that you are thinking and want to kind of say to uplift and to remind yourself of all of the things that you are worthy of or that you are all of the positive and wonderful things and to be kind to ourselves and to kind of also kind of maybe put down some inspiring things or some things that might remind you to take time to do some of the things that you enjoy, things like that. And so on this page too, this is our watercolor uh, background. I just kind of wrote out a couple quotes. You can do that too. And you'll notice that, you know, the point is not to be able to read everything. The point is just to kind of get it out. The point is to express and to put positive vibes and messages into this art piece that we're creating. So I'm going to show you with our watercolor or with our watercolor notebook that has our acrylic paint background here. I'm going to, I'm going to show you kind of what, what we can do here. So I think what I'll do is I'll do a mix of writing tools. And so I'll start off with maybe some pen and, you know, a lot of times with positive affirmations, it can start with an I am statement. So I can say I am resilient and I don't have to make this legible. I can write big, I can write small, I can write really script-like, um, or I can print, whatever you want to do. Let's see. Um, I am stronger than my fears. Okay, I am enough. If you're not sure what to write, there are lots of positive affirmations online that you can look up. That's kind of what I've done with some of these here. Let's see, I am capable of accomplishing my goals. And I'm getting lazy. I just wanna kind of get the, the vibe in here. I can overlap. I can use another, I'm gonna use some gold here, okay? Um, I want more joy. I want more peace, don't we all? I want more rest. I want more time doing what brings me joy okay um time with loved ones right um nature art creativity those are all things that i enjoy okay what else okay i'm gonna take some colored pencils and now i'm going to make some big words you can do whatever you want with this again the point is just to kind of make something that is holding all of this positive energy um love okay and how about um let's see um how about i am brave i'll just kind of abstract brave here how about um I can live simply, okay? How about um, less is more? And maybe just kind of a couple more reminders to myself to pray, to nourish, to encourage. To uplift okay so I've got all these words that I'm writing out let's see are there any more that I want to include um honestly I think I just want to make a couple doodles I'm just gonna make some hearts that's what I feel like doing is just making some hearts just filling this with love and kindness okay Okay, all right, so once you have your page full, we're gonna move on to the next step. So the next step is to abstract this even further. So this is kind of, you can do this however you'd like, but the idea here is that what we're writing or what positivity what we're putting into this doesn't have to be so obvious and it doesn't have to be anybody else's business. It's kind of within us, it's our, um, it's our joy. It's our feelings. It's the things that we want to have. And so we're going to kind of abstract this, meaning we're going to kind of cover up some things 
and just make it into some art, okay? So I'm gonna take some washi tape and I'm just gonna kind of mask off a few words that I really wanna remember. Okay, so like resilient, okay? How about um, joy? I have joy a few times. So I'm just gonna kind of cover it. And the whole thing won't show, like when you're masking something, it just means that you're gonna cut, protect that from whatever next layers you're putting on. And so I'm kind of just gonna kind of pick a few words, but I, I know that the whole word doesn't have to show up at the end. You know, I don't have to cover the whole thing in other words. Um, but like capable, enough, um, what else? Pray, okay. So, and then maybe I just like some pretty colors too. So I'm gonna kind of cover up, mask some of the things that I wanna keep. So I kinda, I like this here. Okay, so you can do as much or as little as you want and you can use a thicker washi tape as well. So like, let's say there's a bigger word, like I see this art word here, standing out to me. So I'm gonna take a bigger piece of masky tape, masky tape, <laughs> washi tape. Oh, that's funny. Peace. I have another joy up here. Okay. So I'm masking this. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is that is I'm going to add a few more pops of um, color using some acrylic paint. Okay. So I'm going to take my acrylic paint And again, you can, so what I could do if I didn't want to get paint out is I could use my acrylic graphs and I could go over and do some layers. I could use my colored pencils. I could use more pens. I could even use some stickers that I want to keep on there if, if that's something I want to do. But for me, I love paint and what it can do. And I love that I can make it opaque and cover up as much or as little as I want. Now, I'm going to go ahead and still go with my cool colors here, my soothing and relaxing blues and greens. You know, if you wanted something more energizing, you could use warmer colors. You could use reds and oranges, pinks, um, yellows, things like that if you wanted to. So if you want to learn more about um, color meanings and things like that, color psychology, you can check out our Unbound Color course that we have. Um, also, there's a lot of information out there um, that you can research as well. All right, so I'm just going to kind of pick up a couple brushes here that will give me a couple different um, oh, marks. Make a few different marks with them. So I just have a, a flat brush here, half inch, and then I, a round number four brush. So I'm going to start with my flat brush. I like to start or big to small usually. All right, so I'm just going to pick up some green here. I'm going to go ahead and mix it with a little bit of white. Okay. I don't know why I put black on my page. I'm not going to probably use black, honestly. And I'm just going to kind of make some, make some little dabs. Maybe I'll even make like some patterns, okay? So pattern basically is just any rep a repetitious mark that you want to make. So maybe I'll do like some little like drops or something here. Let's go ahead and go in with some blue. I'll do some swoops. Okay. No, I don't want to cover all of it up, but I also, I'm just kind of free to abstract all of this to kind of not make it so obvious what's going on here. What are some other marks we can make? How about just some stripes? Okay, let's switch to our round brush. And I think I'll do a little more here. Okay. Where can I, I may have hit some little dots here and it's subtle, you know, I'm kind of, it kind of blends in with the background in some areas and that's okay. I'm covering up some of the words, leaving others. I'm just kind of playing, having fun. I'm really not thinking a lot about it, honestly. I'm just kind of picking up some color, putting it on the paper, okay? And I 
think for fun, I'm going to grab a little more white. Just put there. And I'll do some little details in white here. Let's see. Or close to white. Whatever is in my brush mixed with white is great. How about some little lines? And I'll do like some little wavy lines. I know it's going to mix with other things that are on the page and that's fine because it's still, it, I'm painting wet on wet and so we'll have a little bit of that mixing, but that's great. I don't mind that at all. It's fun actually. It kind of adds to the um, abstract and creative kind of let things flow vibe. Some little dots here, maybe some bigger little dashes. Okay, all that need much else does it. So go kind of let it go. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this dry now, and then um, we'll come back and we'll take off the washi and add any other details that we want to add and go from there. Okay, while my paint is drying, I'm going to show you these other samples that I kind of already did. And as you can see, so here I had put some tape down over some words like brave and pray and smile, um, you know, air, things that I just felt like I wanted to um, highlight. And then I went through and I just made a big mess. So. Um, you can be messy with this. You can be neat with this. Like the whole point is just to express and to get out feelings and to put some positive energy into something. And so I used color pencils and calligraphs to kind of cover that. I want to show you too. So here's the one that we started with watercolor and you can, this is also a good time if you have a, any a cal, cal, um, acrylographs that you want to use. Um, you can definitely use those because those are our, our paint filled pens. Okay, so you can take your um, acrylographs and you can kind of, I don't know, you can draw with them, you can make shapes with them and fill them in, whatever you wanna do. I'm just gonna kind of some swirls. Again, I'm just kind of doing this quickly, but take your time if you want to. You can make kind of some fun geometric shapes to fill in. You know, you could make some hearts if you wanted to. I'm really not thinking about this that much. I don't care really how it turns out. I'm not thinking about that. My whole point in this is just to play with color, have these kind of nice thoughts going on and intentions that I'm setting in here. Um, to give this a nice little vibe here. Anyway, so you get the idea here. And then what you'll do is you'll remove the tape when you're done. Probably should wait till it dries, but. Okay, so you can see here that I removed the tape. I be careful removing the tape, it might tear, but you know what I can do with that, honestly, is just go in and with my with my little acrylic graphic just cover that up and we can just pretend that that was supposed to be there and I'll make another one to kind of match that it's a little more intentional if you wanted to add any more patterns you can otherwise this can be done you can use this as collage paper you can just kind of keep it in your notebook you can throw it away you don't have to hold on to it uh cut it up use it into bookmarks um, whatever you want to do. Okay. Now let's go ahead and now let's go ahead and move on to our, um, one with acrylic paint here. Now what I want to do now is it's nice and dry. I'm just going to decide if I want to add any more embellishments. This would be a good time to bring out any gel pens. Um, of course you could still use color pencils. You could still use acrylic graphs, even calligraphs. but I thought I'd just kind of mix it up a little with some different colored things here. So 
um, gel pins. I might add some little patterns, just some little, like little hash marks. Those are fun. If you've never tried just adding little patterns, it's so relaxing. And you know, the more relaxing it'll be is if you, um, <laughs> let loose and you just don't, I'm not worried about where I'm going. I'm not, I don't have a plan at all. I'm just sitting here making marks as I feel, you know, like I want to. I'm just kind of letting my hand and my mind work together, not thinking about it too much. Okay. I like that. Sometimes it's very subtle. Let's do some little circles here. Little spots, dots. You can go big, you can go small, whatever you want to do. So yeah, so maybe I'll do a little bit of kind of some striping. Whatever you want to do. And then I'm going to decide, do I want any more gold? I love the gold. I might add a few more spots of gold here. You know, you could always, you could always write a few more words out that you want to kind of be obvious. Like if you have a word for the year or if you have any particular goals that you are really striving to achieve, you could always put those on top and have those obviously showing as well. Okay, so once that's dry, if you do any paint, let it dry. Otherwise, you're good to go. You're going to carefully peel off the tape. And you might have covered it up, especially with the acrylic paint. Sometimes I'll cover it up. So just go slow and look for all the little pieces of tape that you left. Now, I guess one good thing would be to not use the same colors of washi tape that you use for your paint and for your project. And so here I, I did an okay job doing that. All right, so one trick to pull washi is to, to kind of pull at a 45 degree angle here and go slow. If it starts to give you resistance, back off a little bit. Use a hair dryer if you need to, to kind of get it warm. That'll kind of release the glue. But otherwise, just have fun peeling this back. Okay. Well, I can obviously see art is important. I've got joy here. Pray. What else? Let's see. Here's tape. Don't know what that was. I think I just liked the color. Rest. We all could use more rest. Sometimes physical rest, sometimes mental rest. Okay, enough. I'm enough. Okay. You might have to kind of feel around to make sure you get all of it. Here we go. Yeah, so there you have it. So this is just a nice, so I've used cool colors that are very soothing and comforting to me. And I've written out words that just give me kind of a positive vibe and help me to kind of feel a little more uplifted. And I know they're in there. So I've put that energy into this. So if I want to have this displayed somewhere, if I want to have this somewhere that I can look at it often, that will help me because it's already full of that like positive energy that, that I can pull from. And so... Um, so what we did is then we masked off the words that we kind of wanted to highlight and, and not cover up completely, but then we used paint to abstract and we used colored pencils to abstract and some, also some gel pen and whatnot. Then we pulled off the tape and here we have our finished little art piece. I hope you've enjoyed this affirmation art and that you'll consider making some of your own. And if you do feel free to share it, if you'd like either on our Instagram or on our, in our Facebook group. And enjoy what you can do with being creative and positive. And if you want to learn more about using color and understanding how colors work together, feel free to check out our Unbound Color course, where we dive into color meaning, color theory, and also creating a beautiful botanical art piece.